Today we're going to be going over all the Air Jordan releases set to drop in June. We'll be talking about retail, resale, styles, cuts, materials, all different types of things when it comes to these drops and how I feel they're going to be. So if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show on this channel. I love talking about sneakers and especially giving you update videos like this. So if you haven't already consider subscribing and joining the fam, we're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there. I know I wasn't able to get this video out on the first of the month, but for the first shoe, we have the air Jordan one mid blue mint. This color blocking pattern is very similar to the toe style, which we have seen on other releases, something more similar to the obsidian one that we know is worth a lot of money. So I could definitely see why people might like this shoe and want to add these to their collection. Me personally, I'm gonna pass, but I respect the shoe and I think it's solid. Next up on June 4th, we have two different releases. We have the Amaminye Air Jordan 2 and we have the Red Oreo Air Jordan 6. So starting off with the Amaminye Air Jordan 2, as we know, we saw the Air Jordan 1 and the Air Jordan 3. There has been a lot of hype and demand behind those shoes. We already saw the Ama drop on their official website and we're expecting to see other drops at other stores or on sneakers app, hopefully on the 4th. So a lot of people have a lot of questions and hopes to get that shoe for retail. I think there's going to be a good amount of people that will be able to get the shoe for retail And then there's going to be a good amount of people that are going to have to pay resale as well Some shoes are really hard and you don't see that many people getting them at all But I feel like when it comes to the Ama drops in particular, I feel like they do a pretty solid job So when it comes to this shoe good luck to everybody and I hope that you guys are able to get the shoe But I will say I feel like you have a solid chance resale on these are around 400 and something bucks right now Retail is just above 200 bucks so I can see why people may or may not want to pay that price so i can understand both sides of the realm of some people saying i don't want to pay the 400 bucks and other people saying 400 bucks ain't that bad compared to other resale prices i can see both sides of the spectrum obviously we would love to get everything for retail so again i'm wishing you guys all good luck now let's take it to the red oreos as you all know i'm a huge fan of the air jordan 6 and i'm excited to see this shoe in person for some reason i feel like they did a really solid job when it comes to the leather quality on the white leather on the upper but the colorway is just all right and when we think about the black oreo sixes or the original oreo sixes or whatever you want to call those ones when we think about the oreos the color pattern was not like this it was more like of a carmine kind of style color blocking with the speckled colors on the midsole so to see this as a kind of an all white upper with the oreo speckles just on the midsole i don't know why exactly they called it the oreo but at the same time i get kind of where they're going let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section this is a shoe that i would love to grab if i can get these for retail i'm definitely picking them up if i gotta pay resale for this shoe I'm not sure if I want to pay resale for this shoe, but I would like to add these to my collection. So if I do grab these, again, you guys all know, I will be making a review on this shoe because I love me some sixes. Now, before we get into the next shoe, we got to talk about today's sponsor, and that's DraftKings Sportsbook. It's time to crown this season's basketball champion, and DraftKings Sportsbook is bringing all new customers in the center of the action. New customers can bet $5 and get $150 in free bets instantly. DraftKings Sportsbook customers can also bet with NBA single game parlays. They can combine multiple bets from the same game for bigger parlays and that also means the more legs you add the more money you win and if DraftKings is not available in your state they also offer huge fantasy contests available every day of the playoffs with millions of dollars to win download the DraftKings app now and use the discount code DNA show and bet five dollars and that'll give you hundred and fifty dollars in credit towards any pro basketball team that you select for some of those that might be asking this offer is only available to new members that sign up and don't forget there's huge daily contests as well the funny thing about all this is the two teams that are in the championship right now are from the Bay and from from Boston and I actually went to school in both of those areas so I'm gonna have a hard time picking what team I want to win and again don't forget to use the promo code DNA show for when you sign up because that's what gives you the opportunity to redeem your $150 after your $5 bet but with all that being said thank you DraftKings for sponsoring this video now let's get to the next shoe we have the Air Jordan 4 Zen Master now this shoe in particular I think a lot of people are either on the fence or they just know for a fact they don't like them and I know definitely there's going to be people that like the shoe. Don't get me wrong. There's going to be a lot of people that appreciate the shoe. But I think when it comes to this one, there's going to be a majority of people like, I need to see these in person to really see how I feel about them. Just based off of photos and everything like that. Now, me in particular, I'm not in any crazy rush to go grab this shoe. Again, if I can grab it for retail and I'll see how it is. And once I get the shoe, I'll make my decision after I make the review and everything. But besides that, yeah, I'm not going to be going out to pay resale or anything like that when it comes to this shoe. Even if the shoe is worth a bunch of money, 
it just still wouldn't really be for me. I would probably use it as trade bait or something just to use so I could get a different shoe in my collection. So when it comes to this shoe, that's kind of how I feel about it. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. As we know, retail is going up on a lot of different stuff right now. So that's another factor as well. We got a lot of shoes coming out this month. And I know some people are like, I got to pick my battles. You know what I'm saying? I can't just go after every single shoe. And I get that. I completely understand all these shoes, 200 bucks. And the next thing you know, it's like, 10 or 12 or 14 shoes coming out in a month and it's like you're easily spending over two thousand dollars just if you were to able to get the shoes for retail and i know for a fact not everybody's gonna be able to get every single thing for retail so that's just something else to think about but i feel like i'm rambling off so let's take it to the next shoe and that is the air jordan 36 flight school i'm not sure if everybody remembers but when the jordan 6 originally came out he had a flight school themed and he was going to school and everybody was teaching people how to fly and that was the whole thing way back in the 90s so for them to kind of bring that back now with the 36 the 36 you can kind of get where we're going right here and then putting that branding on there i understand where they're going with the design i feel like this is a shoe that some people may or may not appreciate so i don't think we need to spend too much time on the shoe i think it's really good when it comes to performance and everything like that so if you're looking to grab another hoop shoe i definitely feel like this might be a solid pickup for you now before we get into the next shoe i forgot to tell you guys earlier we have everything down below in the description when it comes to the information on the shoe the style code numbers the dates the prices everything like that i'll try to populate all that information for you guys down below if i got anything wrong and said it sometimes i uh, i look at the blogs and sometimes they're off by one day depending on what country it's in and all that stuff so i'll make sure i have all the proper dates for you guys depending on what country and everything like that so with all that being said let's take it to the next air jordan one and this is the og high but I'm very interested to see how people think about this one. The Volt Air Jordan 1 is going to be similar to that Chicago color blocking pattern, but with a crazy twist of the Volt on the upper. And you got that clean other hits with the black and the white, but I'm not sure how everybody's going to feel about these. We know that Jordan brand is getting a little bit crazy with the Air Jordan 1s, so I'm not sure these are going to sell out. If they do, I don't think they're going to be worth like crazy amount of money or even really selling for much over retail. We saw the Heritage 1s and the Brotherhoods and everything sitting like that, so I feel like if those are sitting there's no reason why these wouldn't be sitting but again we shall see let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section next up on june 13th we have the air jordan one low fly ease biohack now this one right here we have seen in a high top version before but not with the fly ease iteration on it and honestly i feel like this is a really dope colorway and i'm excited to see that they made this in a fly ease version for the people that actually do need this shoe and it's also a nice change up for people that love air jordan one lows in particular i don't know if y'all remember from way back in the day but they actually did make velcro strap air jordan one lows it was for a short period of time and i know some people may or may not have been collecting at that time i want to say that was in like 08 or 09 or something like that it was a while ago but i definitely remember that era and this is kind of just giving me those vibes bringing that nostalgia back in a new modern twist also on june 13th we have the air jordan 1 mid light smoke gray again another very neutral color i know a lot of people have been kind of defaulting to mids as well and we know there's a big you know talk about jordan 1 mids highs and ogs and all the different stuff but at the end of the day if you like the shoe and you know you want something that's going to be very universal and versatile for all your different outfits throughout on any part of the year i think this is going to be a great pickup for a lot of people me particularly not going to be picking it up i already have like 80 pairs of air jordan one so i'm trying to consolidate actually i remember i was talking about trying to get to 100 pairs but at this point i'm like maybe let's just consolidate get some more bangers and not have as many when it comes to volume and everything but again that's a whole nother topic we could talk about in another video let's take it to the next shoe on june 14th we have the air jordan 4 infrared now this one in particular i am excited about these remind me of the green glow air jordan 4 that came out a while ago i used to have those in my collection i ended up getting rid of them in a trade i low-key want to get them back in my collection so to see these coming out especially with the red color obviously i love that so i'm definitely excited to try to grab these for the collection and i got a feeling these are going to end up being worth some money down the line and everybody's gonna be like damn i wish i would have got them for retail and then next thing you know they're hitting for 500 or 600 bucks because at this point all the jordan fours are popping and you know you know how it goes so if you want to get the shoe or if you're even thinking about getting the shoe i would consider trying trying to go after it for retail so that way you don't have to worry about paying resale for the shoe later next up on june 16th i think we have a fan favorite and that is the air jordan one low og bleach coral the color blocking pattern gives you those toe vibes and it has that light rust pink on it similar to the rust pink air jordan ones that are going for like 
I don't know, $5,000 now in the high top version. So for that alone, I feel like a lot of people like it for those reasons. Plus, it's actually a pretty clean shoe and you could low key wear these with a lot of different fits. And I'm excited to see what people pull off with these fits and everybody's starting to fall into that OG one low vibe now these days. So me personally, I would love to grab these. Do I wanna pay much over resale? No, do I might have to have a chance of doing it? Maybe yes, but if I do, I would consider it. I know the retail is a little bit lower on this shoe, so it does make it a little bit better saying, oh yeah, you know, I spent 180 or 200 bucks and the retail was, you know, 130, 150 bucks, whatever it is. I don't know, I haven't looked it up yet, but I'll make sure I have all the info for you guys down below when it comes to pricing and everything. Following that release, we have another low top Air Jordan, but this is the Air Jordan 2 and it's called the Responsibility. Now me personally, when I look at this shoe, I'm like, these low key look pretty fire. I don't know if it's the materials, it's just the overall vibe of it. It just gives me a very premium feel. I think if this shoe sits, I'm gonna be very happy because I'm like, great, I was able to grab this shoe for retail. But if people realize how nice this shoe is, then it might be going for some money and the next thing you know, it's gonna be the battle trying to get the kick. So we shall see when the time comes, but I know for a fact, this is a shoe that's definitely on my list. I think it's a clean shoe. This is something that you could dress up and dress down with it being a low top. So I'm excited to try to see what fits I can pull off. Now this next shoe I have talked about a couple different times. I feel like it keeps getting pushed back and nobody knows what's going on. So at this point, I just hope it comes out. And that's the Air Jordan 9 particle gray. I gave you guys my two cents about these before. I'm not opposed to the sneaker, but I know whenever a shoe has a white bottom on it, it kind of does mess it up for me because it just gets dirty so fast, especially when you have a darker upper. It's like, why couldn't it be the other way around? But either way, the shoe ends up getting dirty. So you got to pick and choose how it goes. At the end of the day, I'm not sure if I want to add these to the collection, but I would like to review them and see them in hand and give you guys my opinions on them once I get them. Now we know there's a lot of hype when it comes to the Air Jordan 2s this year. And this next one, honestly, I feel like people are just gassing these up for no reason. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Actually, I'll take that back. I can understand the reason. There's a lot of details. The shoe was really cool. I get that. It's just, it's not tickling my fancy. I don't know what it is. And maybe it's the fact that I'm about to butcher the name of this shoe. I think it's called the Mason Chateau Rouge Air Jordan 2. If I said that wrong, oh well, I ain't mad. Just let me know how you guys pronunciate it down below. Pronounce, pronounce, I don't know, whatever. Just let me know how you guys pronounce the shoe down below in the comment section. But either way, this shoe definitely has a lot of details. I can understand those aspects. It gives you that premium vibe. There's a lot of storytelling within it. And I, I get it, I definitely get it. But I don't know if it's just because I'm not a huge fan of orange and maybe that's that's probably why because I don't like too many orange sneakers you know I'm like a go ducks type of guy I don't really I got my v-loan forces and a couple other shoes that's orange but I can't really think of that many off the top of my head that I kept like I always get rid of my shatter backboards too like all right my bad <laughs> I'm rambling off again I've been we just been you know vibing today we vibing today talking kicks my bad y'all so yes this shoe is solid let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section I understand why people like it let's take it to the next shoe and that is the Air Jordan 1 high OG stage haze now this one right here I can definitely see a lot of people going after it. It looks like it's a solid kick, very neutral, like we talked about earlier with the mids, but it's a high top OG with that toe vibe on it. So then what? Everybody's gonna like it a little bit more. And honestly, I like them a little bit more too because of it. So with that being said, I'm gonna be trying to go after these. If I can grab them for retail, yes. If I gotta pay resale, I might have to work a deal because again, I gotta be more selective when it comes to copying Air Jordan 1s. There's just way too many that's coming out, that's already come out, and plenty more that's gonna come out in the future. So at this point, it's like I got so many different ones with the gray colors and everything. I, I just got to be selective. It's starting to get overwhelming. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but there's definitely a lot of ones coming out. Also on the 29th, we have the Air Jordan 8 Taxi. Now I heard this was a women's colorway, but you might have to correct me if I'm wrong. I'll do the research and make, make sure I got all the details in the description as well. But if this is a women's colorway, me personally, I feel like eights are slept on. These are pretty fire. If you put a PE name like so-and-so PE on the side of this shoe and like tagged it up or something, this shoe could easily be a $5,000 PE. But because it's a GR without some type of story or a PE uh, related to it, it's probably gonna fly under the radar. People are gonna probably be able to easily grab these with no problem and it's not gonna be too much stress around the shoe. But I feel like this is like, imagine they just put Oregon Ducks on it and they throw a duck on there. Like, you see what I'm saying? It could easily be a $5,000 shoe. So, I don't know. I think it's super dope. I love this shoe. 
I don't know if they make it in my size. If they do, I might try to go after it, but we shall see when the time comes. But let me know what you guys think about these. And last but not least, on June 30th, we have the Air Jordan 3 Desert Elephant. I think this one is also a women's release, but I do not remember. I haven't had time to do all the research yet. But if they are, again, I think this is a solid sneaker. We just saw the Mocha kind of with the white version, and then we got the, uh, what's it called? The Neapolitan version, which is very similar to the Mocha. So this is kind of like that dark version of that. And honestly, I feel like they're pretty solid. I keep looking over here at the shoe because I got the shoe up on my screen. But yes, I think these are solid. Um, if they do come in my size, I wouldn't mind going after these. I'm interested to see what the leather quality is like and everything like that. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section about this shoe as well because I feel like these these might be some low-key sleepers. You know what I'm saying? You grab them, put them on, put a cool fit together. Next thing you know, like you're like, damn, this was worth the money. But I don't know. At the end of the day, everybody's got their own style and how they feel about these shoes. So I'm excited to hear what you guys think down below in the comments section and again shout out to DraftKings for sponsoring this video and if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the fam yo if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side i built a vip mastermind that will teach you everything that i've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years this will also give you access to the dna fam in my vip community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers and don't worry if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know some different challenge videos I should do this month. I'm excited to incorporate a couple new things.